In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Contact 7 form for WordPress. And what this plugin is going to do is it's going to allow users to fill out a form and contact you via email. And I like using this form on Contact Us pages. It just makes it really quick and easy to make a Contact Us page uh, so that people can reach out to you by email if they have any questions. Okay, and let's get into uploading this Contact 7 form then. First thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the Plugins button located on the left side of your WordPress dashboard. Click on that. Next, select Add New because we're going to add this plugin. Then I'm going to have you type in Contact Form 7 into the Search Plugins field. Contact Form 7 there. And then click Search Plugins. And at the top of the results, you should find Contact Form 7. I'm just going to go ahead and click Install Now. And then confirm, yes, I do want to install this plugin. Okay, the WordPress plugin has been successfully installed. Again, I'm going to want to activate this plugin right here by clicking the Activate Plugin button below. That way uh, we can actually use it. Okay. Next, you'll be directed to your list of plugins, installed plugin screen. And as you can see right here, I've successfully uploaded Contact Form 7. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to want to do now is click the Settings button. And this Settings button is going to bring us to the Contact Form 1 screen. And from here, you can actually edit what your contact form is going to say. So uh, if you look down here on the form, for example, you've got to kind of visually imagine this, but here within the default settings, there's a field that requests a person's name that is going to email you. It requests their email address, um, a subject line. Uh, that's basically the title of the email that you will receive and then provides an area for them to add a message. And then this one right here is just your button that allows people to send or submit messages to you. Now, there are a couple of important things that you're going to want to change here down at the bottom. And I'll scroll down here to the mail section. One field that you're going to want to fill out right away is this to field. Now this to field is the address or the, the webmail address, email address of the address you want this mail sent to. So in this case, I am building my contact form for a website called carportreview.org. So I've already set up an email address uh, that's called support at carportreview.org. So I'm just going to upload that right here. And then everything else is pretty much good to go. The only thing that I sometimes do is add additional fields in here that people can uh, can use to, uh, to basically get more information out of them. Say, for example, I might copy this field here, post it down below. and add something like a, uh, instead of your email required, I might say telephone number because I want to get people's telephone numbers so that I can call them back later. Um, feel free to edit this. Uh, depending on the contact form that you want to create, you probably don't even need to edit anything. You can just leave these default settings standard and you should be good to go. Now, as I showed you before, I previously updated this mail file, which is really the most important thing to do right away. Then I'm going to click save so that these settings are saved. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do then is copy these instructions right here. Uh, there's no need to really know what this means, but just copy it. If you want to, you can paste it onto a text file, but for right now, I'm just going to copy this and that should be good enough. Okay, 
the next thing that I'm going to want to do is go to my contact page. This is the page that I want to add my contact form to. So in this case, I've got my contact us page located under the pages tab, and then I'm going to click edit under contact us. And then I'm going to go down here to the main content kind of block, and I'm just going to paste that code that I copied right in. And what this is going to do is it's basically just going to stick that contact form right here uh, within my page. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. First of all, I want to update it. That way my contact form gets updated there. And then I'll select preview changes. And I'll show you what that looks like on this page. As you can see, we've got just a very simple looking contact form now uploaded to the contact us page. Again, we can, uh, when somebody wants to contact you, they'll add their name, their email address, the subject, uh, the message that they want, and then they just click send, and then an email gets sent directly to you. Now, let's say that uh, this isn't enough information for someone. What uh, I typically like to do is add a little bit of text up here, and it's very easy to add that text as well. Uh, so for example, I'm going to go back to this uh, contact us page and I'm just going to add in, please feel free to contact us via email. We appreciate your feedback. And that should be good enough for this example. And I will update that text here. And we'll select preview changes to see what kind of uh, changes it made there. As you can see, I've added a little block of text right above my actual contact form that just provides users with a little bit of information. And that's literally all there is to setting up the contact seven form for WordPress. And if you want to find more videos just like this, I encourage you to visit startseocompany.com.